In this video, we will show you how to replace your front passenger side outer drag link on this Dodge Ram. This is part of your steering and it's located under the front of your vehicle. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you need to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so your wheels are off the ground. Once you've done that, assuming you have a center cover, go ahead and remove that. You'll find that you have several slots making their way around it. You can use a small pry bar or a flathead screwdriver and gently pry them out of place. A quick inspection and set that aside. Once we have that out of the way, the next thing that we'll be paying attention to is our eight 24 millimeter lug nuts. Remove all eight of those and then the wheel. Now we'll make our way underneath the front of the vehicle. Attached to your knuckle on the passenger side is where you're going to find the right side outer drag link. We'll be starting right along this area. Use a 21 millimeter, remove the nut, give it a quick inspection and put it back on there just a couple threads. The next thing that we'll want to do is try to break this area free. To do this, you want to be careful. Some people might try using a pickle fork in this area, but you could cause some damage. Otherwise, you can just give this a couple bonks with your hammer to attempt to break it free. At this point, we'll pause here and make our way to where it connects to the knuckle. Once again, using our 21 millimeter socket, remove the nut, quick inspection, start it back on there a couple threads. As for this side, to separate this joint, you can use a pickle fork because we're replacing it anyways. If you don't have a pickle fork, we'll be hitting right up along the knuckle here, being extremely careful not to damage the brake rotor. there. We can start swinging this down. We'll remove this nut and separate this as well. Now we can follow this all the way down to where it connects to the sleeve. Paying attention in this area, on the sleeve itself, you are going to find that you have a slot that makes it all the way from one side of the sleeve to the other. It might be located up along the top like ours or on one of the sides or even the bottom really. This is an adjustment sleeve. Cover this area with some penetrant as well. Use a 15 millimeter to loosen up that jam nut. We'll apply extra penetrant spray inside of the slot of the sleeve. At this point, I'll be continuing on with a hammerable pry bar. I'm gonna slide this right inside the slot here. Now that I can see penetrant coming through this area, we'll continue on turning the drag link clockwise to remove it. While turning it, you want to be paying attention to exactly how many turns it takes to remove it. So when you install it, you're going to turn them in the exact same amount. We'll be paying attention down near the tie rod end. One. There it is, friends. Now that we have that out of there, let's clean and inspect the area. We want to ensure that the threaded area on the inside of the sleeve is still in good reusable condition. If it looks like it's rotted or any of the threading is damaged, you need to replace the sleeve. We'll use some anti-seize in this area. 
All right, now we can install our brand new outer drag link. Let's take this and put it in place. Aligning it as level and flush as possible, we'll be turning this counterclockwise to start screwing it into that sleeve. Once we have it started, we'll be counting the amount of threads it takes to put this back in, matching it up with the same number as it took to remove it in the first place. Let's get this out of here. Now we'll make our way down here to where these two areas connect. We'll be sliding them into each other. Start on the mounting nut. If you want to use some thread locker, that's your prerogative. We can take this and bring it up and through the knuckle. Start on the mounting nut. Now we can start snugging these up. We'll bottom this out and then torque it to 80 foot pounds. The next thing we'll want to pay attention to is the hole that goes through the stud of the tie rod end here and the slots that are on the nut. We want to make sure that we have those slots aligned with the hole that goes through the center and then we can put in our locking cotter pin. If you find that the slot does not align with the mounting hole, continue tightening the nut until the very next slot does. We'll slide that cotter pin right on through and peen it over so there's no way this nut can loosen up on us while we're driving down the road. Let's continue on to this right over here. Once again, we'll be bottoming this out and then torquing it to 80 foot pounds. We can make our way up here to the jam bolt. We're going to tighten this clamp and then torque it to 40 foot pounds. At this point, we'll reinstall the wheel. Start on all of our lug nuts and bottom them out. Get the wheel safely back on the ground, and then we'll torque each of these to 135 foot-pounds. With the wheel safely on the ground, we'll be torquing these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. If you have a center cover, install that now. Looking along the back side of it, you'll find that you have four ports for the lug nuts to fit into. We'll align this and carefully drive it into place. Okay friends, we showed you how to install your right side outer drag link. At this point, you want to get yourself safely down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. 
Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.